Real. Estoy aquí en Flow, Milwaukee, en Downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Esto es una experiencia nueva para mí, una cosa que te lo digo de una forma que he estado esperando yo muy hace, hace tiempo ya. Si ustedes han visto a Stranger Things, saben lo que estoy hablando. Cuando respetan la mujer, la chamaquita dentro de una piscina con agua y mucha sal. La cuestión de la sal esa es que la sal te eleva el cuerpo, te ayuda a flotar mejor. So, esto viene siendo como una terapia nueva que hay. Ha estado, me parece que empezó a los 1940, 50, me parece que, que para ese tiempo empezó todo, pero ahora ha cogido más popularidad en cuestión después de Stranger Things. So, lo que voy a hacer es, vamos a entrar adentro, le voy a preguntar a él y él nos va a dar un tour del sitio para que tú entiendas lo amazing y entiendas lo que es y qué estamos supuestos a hacer. So, pues sígueme. is your first time floating I do have a little two page electronic waiver if you want to have a seat while you fill it out I'm it does there. take a minute or two all right sounds good mm -hmm. and then as soon as you're done I'll bring you back run you through a little step-by-step -step, answer any questions you have and then we'll get you floating awesome thank you mm -hmm. this area over here. This is what I call our post-flow relaxation area. So floating affects everyone differently. Uh, and so we like to have a space so you can stay as long as you want once you're done floating. We have complimentary tea and water over here. Uh, the tea's all non-caffeinated. Equilibrium is my favorite of the teas, but they're all pretty good. There's also books and journals. Uh, feel free to leave an entry or you can page through, see what other people have left. There's some interesting ones there. Cool. And then uh, this is our post-flow prep room. And this is uh, also for after you're done floating. So we've got extra towels, hair dryers, different products here, uh, whatever you need to get ready for after you're done floating. So look at that, it's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. And then, um, you're so relaxing, I like the whole lighting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's thought, well thought out. And then we have um, the one restroom here, and then another restroom down the hall on the right right there. And I've got even room number one. I'm gonna follow me. Oh my god, that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you're floating in about 10 inches of water. There's over a thousand pounds of Epsom salt dissolved in that water, so it's more buoyant than the Dead Sea. You're going to float on top of the water. You don't have to hold yourself in any way. You can just relax and the water's going to support you. Uh, the water's heated to your skin temperature, which is about 94 degrees. And then while you're in there, you have the option of light on, light off, music on, music off. And I'll show you those buttons. So you do have the option of complete darkness and silence while you're in there. Cool. Or however you want to float. That's so awesome. then, uh, yeah, step by step. Yeah. Uh, first thing you're going to do is shower off. And then uh, from the shower, you can just get right into the pod. Okay. Uh, if you would, just close the pod while you're showering. That way the water gets in. And then I always recommend there's a little hand towel right here. Just using that to dry off your face before you get in. That way there's no water dripping on your face, because if you touch your face while you're in the pod, you might get salt water in your eyes. Right. Um, if that happens, it's not a big deal. We have a fresh water spray bottle right there, so you can sort of sit up, spray out your eyes. I just put that hand towel on the railing there, so I can dry back off, lie back down. It works pretty well, but I do know a secret for not getting salt water in your eyes. That is just fight the urge to scratch your yeah. nose. Yeah. <laughs> and everything should be okay. It's all good. And then also, like, after you lean back in the water, if you sit back up, just make sure the water doesn't drip down the front of your face. Those are the two secrets, and you should be 100% okay. Sounds good. And then um, once you're in, to start your session, you just click this big white button on the inside right here, and a soft, meditative music's going to come on. To adjust the volume of that music and or shut the music off, you just click in that same white button, and it cycles through those options. And this other big white button here turns on and off the light in the pod, and you just click that once. The light's going to dim over the course of about 10 seconds and then shut off completely, and then you can click it in to turn it back on too. And then there's a little silver intercom button here. If you do have any questions while you're floating, we can uh, respond to them up front. And then um, you close the pod yourself with this handle up here on the inside, and uh, you're going to want to float with the pod all the way closed so you don't get cold 
but if you get a little warm wire in there, you can always crack it open a bit, and you can get out at any time as well. Okay. So while you're floating, your ears are going to float below the water line, so we have earplugs here if you're worried about getting water in your ears. And if you're going to put them in, uh, I'd say put them in before you shower, that way they seal before they get wet. Okay. And then we have petroleum jelly here, if you have any cuts or scrapes, good idea to cover them up, that way the salt water doesn't stain. And then this is a flotation halo, this blue thing. It's like a little pillow, gives you a little extra neck support in there. Uh, your head will float without it, but a lot of people, myself included, really like the extra neck support. Helps me release my neck a lot easier when I'm in there. Then so, I had uh, mm -hmm. two cervical fusions too. Oh there, yeah. So, that it's a so major you might piece. want a little extra support yeah. then. Yeah. Uh, but if you end up not liking it, you can always open up the pod and toss it out. Cool. And then uh, one last thing is be sure you shut off this room light before you get in. That way if you want to try the complete darkness in here, no light's going to come through the crack at all. And then at the end of the session, the light's going to come back on if it's off in the pod, and a voice will come on saying your session's complete. Then you can shower off, uh, get dressed in this room, and then finish getting ready in that prep room I showed you. Sounds good. Cool. Um, I'm a spiritual guy, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the thing that I've been dying the most since the cervical confusions. Yeah, I've yeah. gone through depression and the whole aftermath that comes with depression and all that. Doubt. Um, yeah. It's been a good a year or two now that it's, it's been gotten a lot better yeah. and having pains back neck and all that i heard about this and i'm like you know what let me just give this a shot because this is probably a shot because this is probably something that i want to do twice a month once a month so yeah. it all depends how it goes but i got a good feeling about this because i'm an ocean water guy oh yeah i just so i'm like i'm so ready for this so it's Pretty cool. How long is the session for? It's for 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Yeah. That sounds good. Ah, right, cool. Do um, people panic a lot or you get those? Not very ones? often. Every, every once in a while, you know, someone will get out early because they don't think it's for them. But most of the time, people stay in the whole time. Okay. You know, but it's we try to make it as like comforting as possible. You know? Yeah, so as I came in, you guys made me feel welcome and very comforting too. So um, this is this is great. Yeah, well, I actually thought that it was gonna be like some kind of kind of square thing. Oh yeah. yeah I was yeah. kind of hoping for this egg thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once I saw this with the whole lighting, mm -hmm. it just I'm like, this is what I want right here. Perfect. There's lots of videos in English, uh -huh. on YouTube, but as far as Spanish, nothing like that. So you see it. But como vieron, estoy aquí en Fort Milwaukee. Y esto, la agua está seteada a la temperatura del cuerpo de uno. So, cuando tú cierras el aire es caliente, el agua es caliente también. Lo que hace esto es que uno está supuesto a sentirse más relajado. Todo el músculo del cuerpo se siente relajado. Lo único que tú vas a tener despierto, obviamente, es haciendo la mente. Hay gente que se queda dormido, hay gente que tiene una experiencia de que están yendo a, al cielo, hasta yendo al universo, ven estrellita, que si esto y lo otro, este, para mí quizá va a ser una otra experiencia. Este, y para ti, quizá también para ti, quizá si no lo has tratado, trata de hacerlo. Y quizá tú tendrás tu propia experiencia, como lo vaya a pasar. Este, estoy contento de hacer esto. So, dame quitar el micro, ponerme cómodo. Chucha, gorra, como tú le llames. Ponerlo aquí. Ah, acá atrás. ¿Por qué no es? Que le show the shower. So, lo que tú haces aquí cuando tú entras rápido al cuarto, lo que te van a hacer es, si tú tienes gel o cualquier producto de pelo en tu cabello, pues uno está supuesto a bañarse. La agua, cada uso que tú tengas, Les, por ejemplo, si una persona antes de mí, lo que hacen es quitan el agua de aquí y le ponen agua nueva y sal nuevo. So, en esta agua nadie se ha metido todavía. So, cuando tú vayas a ir a un From Milwaukee o donde quiera que tú estés, tienes que hacer reservación. Reservación, por la simplemente razón es porque quieren tener todo fresquecito para ti. Porque quién quiere bañarse con el juguito del cuerpo de otra persona. So, uno se llama aquí, escucha, se llama, uno se baña aquí. Tienes tu shampoo, tienes tu jaboncito, tienes tu conditioner, este, como ven, se siente 
como que bien espesa el agua. So, déjame dejarlo ir a ustedes porque obviamente no me quita la ropa mía y enseñarle todo mi goods. So, dame prepararme y entonces lo que voy a hacer es cuando esté ready, Katie me va a coger el video saliendo de aquí. Si no has hecho esto antes, tú tienes que hacerlo, te lo digo, tienes que hacerlo, te lo digo, tienes que hacerlo, tienes que hacerlo, tienes que hacerlo. Tú cuando entras allá adentro y te pones a relajarte, te lo digo que tu cuerpo como que se duerme. Se duerme y, y la mente tuya como que se pone toda relajada. I mean, te relaja. It's just so relaxing. Te lo digo. Son muchas cosas lo que me pasaba en la mente, pero eran cosas bonitas, colores preciosos. Yo que soy una persona de arte, veía colores, que si esto y aquello y lo otro, eh, eh, la experiencia, te lo digo, fue algo precioso. Oh my God, qué cosa de lo más chévere. Me gustó, me fascinó, lo haría. Por, lo mejor, por ejemplo, lo haría yo como una vez al mes. Tener toda la atención esa que tú tienes en cuestión de trabajo, familia, biles, que si esto y lo otro, o sea, uno se pone, tú sabes cómo es la vida, que te pone... No deprimido, no deprimido, pero mucha tensión en uno. Y a uno tener esa experiencia, estar ahí adentro, como que tú dejaste todos esos problemas, todas esas tensiones, las dejaste ahí adentro. Saliste una persona nueva. Es una experiencia, te lo digo, una experiencia preciosa. Me siento relajado. 
me siento relajado y lo haré otra vez. Por ejemplo, una vez al mes. Como que dejaste todos los problemas, todo lo que tiene en la mente, lo dejaste allí en esa agua. Y después esa agua pega a circular y a limpiarse. So, toda cosa negativa que tú sacaste, mira, se fue por ahí para abajo. Se limpió, se purificó y vuelve otra vez al tanque. Así me siento yo. Así me siento yo. <laughs> right? It's so good. Mm. Oh my god. Come on, you can't have no tacos like that in no Taco Bell up in Tulsa or nothing. You gotta have that. You go to the south side of Milwaukee, you gotta have the thin tacos. Yeah. So good. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, it's tunnel vision. 